Okay, so what you see before you today is a dead switch mode power supply. And this is the one that I used to use to power my Wi-Fi hub. So anyway, I woke up one night, maybe four or five, and I was just about to go back to sleep. I could smell a really foul electronics burning smell. At first I just ignored it because, well, I often smell burning when there's nothing burning. But yeah, it was just getting stronger and stronger and stronger, so I had to go and investigate. So, checked all my bits and pieces, made sure nothing was burning, nothing was, you know, everything was fine. Trying to find the source of the smell. Eventually I found it, it was this, because all the lights on my um, Wi-Fi hub had gone out. No signs of life. So I thought, oh great, my Wi-Fi hub's toasted. But I tested the power supply anyway, just to make sure. And sure enough, when I measured the voltage coming out of this, absolutely nothing. Completely dead. Now, I've had this powering a few things in its life. The Wi-Fi hub was the last thing it's ever powered. And this power supply always ran hot. But that was just perfectly normal. I mean, some of them, even switch most power supplies do. So, yeah, this always ran hot regardless of what it was powering. Um, I think whatever was burning was right about there. You might be able to see there's some deformation there. So we're going to crack this open and see what's inside. See if we can see what was causing the burning smell. Now, I may have to do this off camera while I'm opening this because these things are glued shut and I don't really have the right tools to open this. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, well, case is cracked. So, let's take a little look inside. I'm just gonna have a little sniff in there. Oh god, huh. I kind of regret doing that. Let's have a look what we've got inside. Well, that does not look good. Let's look at the state of that. And what the hell was this when it was, um, before it was all charred? I have absolutely no idea. Looks like a... Well, I don't know what that is, actually. Well, that's definitely cleared up the mystery of the burning smell. Now, let's take this out of its case. I'm not going to bother trying to repair this, there's really no point, but... This thing is sort of, like, welded. No, actually, they've glued it in. I don't... I don't quite, don't quite know how I'm going to get this out. I'm going to have to do a little bit more jiggery-pokery with a screwdriver. I'm surprised that fuse didn't blow unless it already has. I don't know. Is this fuse blown? Hmm, I'll have to test that and see. Well, I'm just going to try and get this out so we can take a closer look at it. Okay. Got that open. That glue was no match for this screwdriver. Let's just take a closer look at that charred component. I believe this used to be a capacitor. Just look at this. Huge gaping hole in there. I'm going to try and get a close-up of that. Well, there's your problem. Yeah, this is about as close as I can get before I lose focus. No wonder I could smell something burning. Not quite sure how that happened, but yeah. That'll also make a good thumbnail pick for the video. So, I'm just going to see if that fuse did blow. Um, uh, I need to find my wire cutter so I can get that out of there. I'm well, probably getting covered in capacitor soot at the same time. Come on! Right. I, uh, I don't even know if this fuse is blown because it's covered in soot and other stuff. I'm gonna have to... Okay, that's good enough for testing. Maybe I can just pull that other little bit of wire off and see if this fuse is blown. Can 
continuity. Well, at least that's one good thing. So, uh, I know where this is going, and until next time, goodbye. What I could smell is really bad, not really bad fart. <laughs>